Hi, I'm Tony McHugh, president of AM Machinery Sales. Today I want to talk a little bit about the um, comparison shopping, if you will. Uh, knowing what you're getting and how it's, what it's going to take to do the job you need to do. Of course, the most important part of getting a machine is making sure that you have samples processed so you can see what sort of edge radiusing somebody can provide for you. Now, like I told you in another video or earlier, you would find that most 90% of the other manufacturers out there all build machines with contact drums. It's a situation where it's the way it's been built from the beginning of time and, and this is just the way it's done and it's accepted as, as being the, the standard in the industry. This is great with the old technology when you have lasers that would leave sawtooth edges and you needed to grind that edge off. Today's technology takes us way beyond that. The t edges today are just square. They're not really burst. There's just a sharp edge because of the fact that it's a square cut. Using an abrasive belt on a contact drum will leave, will take the vertical, any vertical burr and knock it horizontally into a hole, if you will. You still got to get the, the, the edge off of it. The burr has to be removed. So in all cases, these type of machines need to be followed up with a, a brush, uh, some sort of brush to get into the hole and, and deburr the hole properly. That's comparing an, a, a, a lower machine to a competitor's machines. You need a secondary operation, so you would require two heads, okay? Uh, that's really important that you know, because price uh, of a machine will vary substantially from one head versus two heads.